So this is our Bavitae, Foxtrot horse, Arcadio mare, six year old. A horse I'm really quite excited about. Trained by Dot Love in Ireland. She's been placed twice over hurdles, but not one. Again, which keeps lots of opportunities. She's not high, too highly rated. It's just, she's very keen in her races in Ireland. And um, I do think that uh, she ran remarkably well, really, because she ended up being allowed to stride on and go on and, and lead the whole way. And, and, and to, to, to end up placed, having run that way over sort of two and a half miles on softish ground or heavy ground in some cases, um, is, shows you know, above average ability. She's got a full brother, I'm a game changer, who's a very good horse. Uh, Arcadio is a, uh, you know, a, a, a likeable stallion. Um, so there's a lot to look forward to. She's been going really nicely. We have, unfortunately, just had a little foot problem, which has held us about the last few days. So I think she might be more towards the end of July, she'll be out. Um, but um, she's certainly one to look forward to. And we'll be looking for mares, maiden hurdles, novice hurdles, uh, if we possibly can. Cat walking out on uh, Mason Jar, coming to do his morning work. Now, some of you may have spotted different venue. This is our old yard at Linnacus, and uh, we've been bringing these horses, a group of horses, have been here for a six week campaign of doing some hill work. We want to do some intent, use our hill gallop, and they're actually all going to go back to Airlocks, the majority of them, uh, next week. Uh, and we're swapping over and bringing in a lot of horses that you saw in the Erloxy Ur tapes will be coming here to Linnacus. Mason Jar's a super horse, three winners, three wins last year. Um, he uh, ended up uh, with uh, a very good third at Aintree as well and then ran at Cheltenham, didn't he, on New Year's Day. I don't think he quite got the three mile trip at Cheltenham, but I think the form of the two and a half mile race at Aintree is more than good enough to win off his mark, so I'm hoping he can win again. Um, and uh, he'd be a possible to run on the very first jumping day on the 1st of July at Suttall in a two and a half mile handicap hurdle. In the future, he could go chasing and quickly just to say he's by no risk at all, who is one of my favorite stallions now. The French stallion, of course, is the, an up and coming young stallion, and of course, is the sire of Epitant, who won the champion hurdle. Mason Jar, lovely horse. Monbeg Charmer. Uh, sent to us. He's not run for us yet. He used to be with Charlie Longston. Um, talk about patience that the owners have shown. Incredible, really. Lord and Lady Dalberton. They, uh, the horse uh, hasn't run for well over a year and a half, having had a tendon injury. Uh, they've been very patient with him. He was, went into pre-training a long time ago and been with us now for quite a long time. But we're hoping to run him in the summer plate at Market Raisin. Whether he's good enough for that grade now is very debatable. Um, we just don't know, to be honest, but it's, he, he likes to go right-handed, so it's a good starting point. He might not quite have the speed for that race now, we'll see, uh, but he's, we're going to have a crack at it. So uh, hopefully he'll be fit and ready to go, and just hope he still retains all his ability. Monbeg Charmer. So Sam is on top of Classic Escape, and I'm particularly keen to point him out to you. We've had Classic Escape for a, a nearly a year, but he hasn't, he hasn't run yet, and only not, no fault of his own. He had a break, that was a plan. He came from Dennis Hogan in Ireland. He's quite lowly rated and will mix hurdling and chasing. But um, the interesting point is he's a half-brother to Sakwan, who I know many of you have bought into. And he's got the same sort of shape. He's a sort of stocky horse, not a particularly big horse, but quite stocky. And he's got a nice way of going about him. He's, he's a straightforward ride and a, and a straightforward horse. And, uh, but I'm certainly hoping that we'll have some improvement out of him. So that's classic escape and he'll be running in, in early July and perhaps mixing hurdling and then going chasing, which he's not done yet, but I'm sure he'll be fine. So this is Chef de Troop, owned by my cousin. Uh, won twice last year, Sam, Sam Twist and Davis on top there, and he won on him at Southall. Um, uh, I think it was a famous winner for him, actually, completing his thousand, if, oh, I, if, so. I, if I've got it right. Um, a, a good two miler, plenty of speed, came from the flat from France. Um, but uh, the handicap, I had him a bit there. We're, we're hoping we can get another win or two out of him, but perhaps not aim too high. Chef the tree. Now here's one we are excited about for this summer, Dancing in the Sky. Only had the three runs, I think, last year. Never quite happened for him. Um, he had a wind up. We, we, we cauterized his palate at the beginning of August. And he's not run since. And we'll probably put a tongue tie on him just to be safe. But he's, he's been working really well this year. He's done, he's done really nice and we're very hopeful that the mark of 107 that he can be extremely competitive. Um, we, we, I'm gonna, we're going to be schooling him over some fences as well with a view to mixing, hurdling and chasing. Um, but uh, I'd like to think that everyone's patience can be rewarded and we can and we get his head in front. Uh, certainly he's got a nice mark to go to war with. Dancing in the sky. Jimmy Rabbit. 
Uh, delighted that Foxtrot uh, have taken an interest in him. We had him last year. He's won three times for us. A bit of a personality. I think he slightly has two ways of running. Uh, when he's in the mood, he's got plenty of ability. I want to try him again over three miles. Um, and I'll just tell you a funny comment as well. He's by Dubai Destination, and, and those of you who remember that Southern Destinations by Dubai Destination talk about little and large. They couldn't be more different given they have the same stallion. But I want to try and get over three miles. And um, there's a race at Southern on the 1st of July, and we might just have a crack at that to see if he can get the trip. But um, that's Jimmy Rabbit. This is YCCS Portachovo. Won twice last year. He's a funny old character by Marteline. Um, lovely, these Marteline Greys. I've got a mare, great Marteline Grey mare. Um, he disgraced himself on debut, running out at the first at Warwick. And then we ran him at Fake and then he won nicely and then he won again at Stratford. Um, he's a bit of a character. I'm really excited about getting him over a fence. He's not the biggest, but he jumps for fun and he'll enjoy it. Now, so he's, he's marked 123. And I've looked at the race program. We've got to run him once over hurdles. I don't think he'll win off 123, but he could just drop a pound and then we can get him in a 0 to 120 novice handicap chase. So that might be the time to look out for him. I do think he can win races over fences. And even though he's quite a young horse, I think the sooner we get him over the fences, the better. He'll have a lot of fun with He's a good jumper. This is McGrathy. He's a bit of a stable star. Six wins for the yard. It's been a great success story for us. To be honest, he hasn't really found his form yet this year, and it's very tough for him now. He had such a brilliant summer last year. He won four times, uh, kept mopping up those two-mile chases, ended up winning a 40 grand race up at Kelso. Complete star, but uh, his mark now, I think, really was 151. I think he might have given us two back, but it, uh, it's going to be very, very tough for him. And, um, yeah, he's not, he's not coming to form yet, but just hope that uh, there's very limited options for him, but we'll find there's a two-mile chase in July. I think he'll have to run in it, probably, and even if he can't win it, just drop a few pounds, and we'll keep running in those top two-mile races. Employer, who's come from the flat, he's actually been our only runner so far this season at the time of uh, filming, uh, and he goes again on the flat at Kempton on Tuesday. He's, a, he's by Camelot, so he was definitely bred for bigger things than novice hurdling in the summer, but uh, that's where we're, we bought him for. Um, he's, he's got a nice way of going about things. I'm not sure under pressure he finds that much. That's what we saw in his first flat run, but he certainly has the ability to win a race or two, and um, we've got some new owners in him, and I think he'd hopefully be a real fun horse for them to, to um, mix it up. Bit of hurdling and flat. So this is Beebold, who came to us from Dan Skelton's hill in here, and he's a horse that I actually think has benefited for the break, the enforced break, because of the COVID, because we gave him five to six weeks off. But he's been back in training since early May now, and he's ready to go. He's put a, put a bit of condition on from that break. Um, we went chasing just before the break. He rose around second at Market Raisin, and he'll probably go back to Market Raisin on the July the 10th. Uh, I think it was a two mile 0 to 120 handicap chase there, which should be right up his street. Going very nicely, so I'd be hopeful that we're going to have some fun with it. So this is Clever as a Fox, who some of you may remember winning impressively on debut for us in a maiden hurdle at Worcester on Worcester Ladies' Day last, last year. Unfortunately, he lost his form after that, and he, he became very, very light. He is a horse that does run up light, but we diagnosed he had significant gastric ulcers, and uh, we... Um, we ended up giving him, of course, to have some time off, and he's, we, we trained him on Gastrogard, which a lot of people do. I've uh, been really happy with his progress this year, and we're looking forward to running him. Uh, he, he, he's a possible for the summer hurdle at Market Raisin on the 10th, probably more likely to go to Utoxeter on the 6th. But clever as a fox, he's been working really well, and we're looking forward to seeing how we get on with him. So this is Forecast, who's just uh, having his girth tightened by Colleen, about to go and do his morning work. Um, as you can see, quiet as a lamb here. Um, we're delighted to have him, eight year old. Um, was trained by Martin Keithy before. Now we were all set to go hurdling with him in Aintree, uh, at Aintree meeting, but uh, we missed that because of the wretched COVID crisis. He's now, um, he's, he's now uh, uh, gonna go novice chasing. We hope we're gonna run him. Uh, he's run once with Martin over, big, over the fences. And uh, he's got a high mark, 138, so I'd like to try him over the fences. We think coming back in trip a bit might help him. And actually, we think he's got, we might try him over either two miles or two and a half miles. And there's a possible race for him in Stratford coming up in the next few days, or early July.